Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when controller is not working with the game on your Windows computer. Now, the first step is to enable or disable Steam input. Now, for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, and then you can go to the controller tab. Now, over here, you can see override the override the outer worlds too. Over here, you can select disable Steam input, relaunch the game, and then check. If that does not work, you can enable the Steam input and then relaunch the game and then check. So try both one by one and then relaunch the game. Next step is to go to human interface device in device manager, make a right click on the start menu, go to device manager. Now ex expand human interface devices. Now over here, if you find any external keyboard or mouse uh, device over here, you can make a right click and disable, like if you have key crown keyboard, or if you have any external keyboard and mouse connected, you can disconnect it. If you find a uh, key crown or razor huntsman over here, uh, you can just make a right click and then you can disable it. This is just an example. Uh, you will see disable device. If you find any external keyboard and mouse device under human interface device, you can make a right click, disable it and then relaunch the game. If you have any external keyboard and mouse connected, disconnect it. If you have any kind of dongle for the keyboard and mouse connected, you can disconnect the dongle too. Disconnect any kind of dongle USB adapter connected to the computer. Disconnect Razer Tartarus. Unplug flight simming hardware like if you have hotas, wheels, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnect it. Disconnect extra control. Sometimes we have extra controller connected, disconnect it. Disconnect arcade stick. Disconnect multiple monitor. If you have any virtual control like Vijo, etc. So any kind of virtual joystick application installed in computer, you can disable it or you can uninstall it. So close all kind of virtual controller. Uh, you can disable it or uninstall it and then relaunch the game. Next step is to PlayStation controller user. You can enable it in the sound control panel. Use the wired connection. You can connect your controller using the USB cable to the computer. Type in control panel in Windows search box. Click on control panel. Now over here, uh, go to hardware and sound and then click on sound this will open sound control panel now you have to connect your controller using the usb cable the cable which came with the controller now once you have the wired connection you will see your dual sense wireless controller make a right click and then if if disabled you can enable it in my case it is already enabled then make a right click once again and then go to configure speakers quadraphonic next make sure Front, left and right is checked. Also surrounds speaker is checked over here and then click on next, finish and then relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to use wired connection. So you can connect your controller using the USB cable to the computer and then you can check. Now, next step is to select the controller which you want to use. Restart Steam and then restart the game. Now for this, uh, you have to connect your controller using the USB cable. Now type in USB uh, USB game controllers in window search box and then you can click on set up USB game controllers and over here go to advanced option and you can select the controller which you want to use. If you want to use Xbox, you can select this one. If you want to use the PS5 uh, PlayStation controller, you can select the controller which you want to use and then hit OK, click on OK and then relaunch the game. Still not working. The next step is to PlayStation controller user you can use ds for windows you can search in google and you can install it and then uh, configure your controller and then check next step is to update your controller now if you have playstation uh, like xbox controller you can open microsoft store on your computer and then in the search box you can type in xbox accessories app and click on xbox accessories and if not installed uh, you can install Xbox Accessories app. You will see install option, install it, and then launch Xbox Accessories app. And then you have to connect your controller using the USB cable. So use the wired connection. Now connect the controller. Once you, con uh, once you connect the controller, you will see your controller. Now click on these three dots, more options. And if there is any update, you will see update option, update, continue, and let the update complete. Now, once the update is complete, now you can relaunch the game and then check. 
still not working the next and now if you have playstation controller then you can use playstation accessories app you can search in google you can go to the official uh, playstation website so click on playstation accessories go to the official website only and then click on download for windows and then once the download is complete you can uh, run this exe file uh, click on in, click on this file and you can install this uh, install this in my case it is already installed once you have playstation accessories app installed you can launch it and then you have to i don't want to update you can update uh, and then once you install it launch playstation accessories app connect your controller is connected if it is not up to date you will see update option over here in my case it's already up to date if you see update option you can hit update once the controller is updated now relaunch the game and then check now it's still not working the next step is to launch steam in big picture mode so at the top right here on steam you can see enter big picture mode icon click on it once the steam is in big picture mode now you can click on the game and then you can launch when the steam is in big picture mode so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run uh, to get the control working with the game so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel